Hi everyone, and welcome back to uh, Nicole's video blog. It's uh, Thursday the 17th? Wow, 17th of November. Ever since my uh, surgery, time has just been flying by. I've gone through three months and a week now, and I'm, I'm still healing, which is amazing to say because it's been over three months, but the healing that has to be done now is just more or less the um, swelling going down. Everything else is looking great. I've scheduled my second surgery, and the second surgery, of course, I went for a two-step. Not everyone does that. I went for a two-step, and I'm also going to have my trachea shaved, which you can only make out if you look hard. So coming back to work, um, now that I've had weeks in, was difficult at first. My stamina was shocked, and in the job I'm in, where I'm constantly moving around and going back and forth, I was coming home, and this room was my home. I'd come home and pass out on my bed. That was bad, because that's not me. I, I was constantly moving around in my life. I have this energy and this pep to me, and just being knocked out like that was just not too fun. Um, what I find right now is a huge freaking spider up there. <laughs> the cats will get it, I'm sure. Anyway, what I'm finding right now is that my stamina has come back over the last two weeks. Now, I still come home exhausted, but it's because I'm busy and I'm moving around a lot more. Um, still a lot not as strong and weak. I don't think that's ever going to come back now that there's no testosterone in my body. But um, I'm finding it very, uh, very much better. Other things that are going on at work are that in the past, I was getting a lot of people that were heeing, hemming, and surring me. I'm not getting that as much anymore. Of course, if you look at this image, it's definitely one that you're not going to get those anymore. But um, I got one that was amazing the other day. We were talking about a product that I sell, and we were talking about attaching some kind of service to it. And I was using a uh, example of how I just got my camera replaced because I bought it at the store that has a replacement plan, and the TSA broke my camera. And I, I use it a lot, and I didn't have the opportunity to get it fixed. And when I finally did, the store totally replaced it. And I was telling them, yeah, it's an expensive camera. I don't buy cheap, and I don't. I bought a Canon S90, which shoots raw, and it has a processor like a DSLR, and uh, has a lot of different modes on it. And essentially, the TSA broke the screen on the back, and I never got a chance to file a claim or whatever. I just figured, I'll bring it back to the store. The store had it for about 10 days and decided to junk it out and give me a new one. So I was telling this customer, hey, you know, my mom bought this camera from me and it was like, you know, it was a divorce slash um, birthday gift. And she bought this camera for me and I gave her my old one. And she stopped me right there and then and said, wow, she spent that much in a camera? She must have really hated him, meaning my ex. And I'm like, yeah, she did. He wasn't very nice. <laughs> and, okay, so, you know, we all have those moments, and people don't know what to say, and maybe she's being kind, but it's an example of just one of those things that is different now than before. A couple other cool things have been going on. Um, I have been dating little bit by little bit. I put myself on one of those dating sites and I talked about that one date I had and uh, you know it wasn't a disappointment it was actually a win because I got past it and I've always wanted to be with men. I just hid behind the fact that I was a boy and we made it scared. You know I was scared and now I'm getting asked out and I'm finding many people have interest in me, and that's cool, but I don't know how to handle it, so we'll figure that one out later. 
Um, I have another date with a guy I met online um, this weekend. So hopefully next week if I do a vlog or if I do a video vlog, we'll talk about that a little bit. But I like dating again. And it's cool. It's nice on this side of it. Oh my lord. <laughs> There's too many cats in this house. <laughs> um, but I like it on this side. And uh, I think I'm going to like it a lot. But I have actual opportunity to see my kids three, four nights a week. And that's awesome. So I don't have to wait every other week like other parents do that aren't the custodians. Um, I guess one thing that I do have to say, though, is I still have the same issues. Money is coming in slow. Um, I still don't know how to spend little money. I know how to spend money. <laughs> um, just the same problems I had before I transitioned are still there. So for all these people that go, you know, transition is the answer, I'll tell you this. Transition is the answer to one question. What am I, man or woman? But what I could tell you right now is surgery did nothing to cure anything else but the fact that I feel like I have the right part to date who I want to date now. And that's good. All right, so I'm babbling now, so I'm going to sign off. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. And I love you all. Bye.